Hello, everyone. Uh, greetings from Germany, Deutschland, from Ukraine, quite an international crowd. We have traditionally with a team of Cupids, we will talk about love and we'll bring up only really important topics that hopefully will inspire you to uh, change your dating attitude, to make it smarter to upgrade it in a way and to find uh, someone special with whom you can truly build a meaningful, lasting, healthy relationship and be happy. My name is Svetlana Mucha. I am the founder and the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Diola.com. Together with me, I traditionally have our executive director, Katerina Romanenko, uh, the beautiful lady in blue, and our leading professional psychologist, Alessia Belichenko. Uh, a lady with a really pretty lipstick and V line dress so that you can tell us apart. So, ladies, um, I'm sure you can think of uh, a situation, it is quite common. And before filming this video, we have discussed uh, that uh, this mistake happens so often that we touch it in a way almost in every second video. Let's talk about a scenario when we introduce a lady to a gentleman. And on paper, she seems like a really good match. But for whatever reason, after one or two dates, sometimes after three dates, she loses interest. For example, right after the first date, uh, regardless if it is an offline date or a Zoom date, the lady tells that, you know what, I didn't feel physically attracted or uh, I was kind of bored, so I don't think he's the right man. So she has lost interest for whatever reason. But the gentleman becomes so eager to win her over to prove her that she made a terrible mistake and she has to choose him back. In this video, I suggest to talk about the male ego. Alicia, let's start with you. As a professional psychologist, why it happens that uh, in a situation when a lady tells that she is not interested for whatever reason, sometimes obvious reason, sometimes there is no obvious reason, well, when it comes to love, people can be emotional and the gentleman starts thinking that she is the one and we have to get her back, give her back to him. <clears throat> well, this topic is really interesting and uh, um, it, it really happens uh, quite often, uh, such situations. Um, of course, I won't uh, say something new about this. If you have such a scenario in your relationship, you should visit a psychologist, first of all. But uh, if you have uh, this um, desire to win her and she doesn't show the interest to you, this is not about her. This is not about how uh, beautiful, how smart or uh, uh, how unusual she is. This is only about you. Why it is so important for you to get her attention if she doesn't want to give you this attention. So why this becomes the main goal for you? This is the answer. And usually it, uh, it is uh, like a very deep uh, work with psychologists to solve this problem. There is no one answer for all people. You should find your own answer why it is so important for you. Thank you because for your attention. Everybody, ha everybody <laughs> has to like me. How come she didn't like me? Yes, but of, of course you should work with, the, with this. This is your problem. It is not about how perfect uh, this lady is. This is, in general, this is not about this lady. At the moment you win her, you lose uh, totally uh, the whole interest to her. And you will get another goal. You know, it all comes from the attitude. Uh, let's think about the example that is not dating related. You go to the restaurant and you believe that this is the best restaurant. You have never been there, but uh, you like uh, the sea view. You like how it looks. You haven't booked the table beforehand. You go there and uh, unfortunately the hostess tells you that, you know, we don't have free tables. So you have to book in advance. And there can be two types of reaction. 
Well, the first one, okay. I wasn't lucky enough without reservation to get a table. I will go and find something else, uh, another place. Or there can be a reaction that, how come you don't have a table? You have to find me the table. If you don't find me the table, I will be hungry. I, I don't want to eat elsewhere. So can you call this reaction smart? Okay, they don't have the table. Book for the next day if you want to attend this place. Even if you stay in the city just for one night and okay, you won't eat in this place. You can find something else. It all depends on your attitude, whether it will be smart attitude, constructive attitude or destructive. Like shouting at the hostess and uh, telling that you have to find me the table because I really, really want to eat here. Well, it's very similar to make you like me. Well, the two of you had the date, or for example, two dates or three dates. She had a chance to date you. She had a chance to get to know you better. For whatever reason, if there was no obvious reason, for example, you didn't do uh, any drastic mistakes, um, if uh, it was really not about uh, the dates, but about uh, her, she didn't like something you say. Or for example, she has realized that she was in the wrong mood uh, to date, whatever. She didn't like the way you look, it can happen. She didn't like the way you eat or you laugh. Well, it's up to her. She had a chance to date you. She has decided not to. So now you can choose to be hungry forever because like they don't have any tables in this restaurant. Or you can go and look for something else. Katerina, and what do you have to say about this? Uh, first of all, I want to say that really we decided to bring this topic and to make uh, the separate video on it because uh, this situation happens uh, really and to say that uh, it's so rare, this uh, situation. So it happens and uh, unfortunately it happens with our clients too uh, and we see it in our practice that's decided to devote the whole video to it. And yes, you know, um, uh, sometimes I think that, of course, it's connected with it, connected with some personal uh, attitude to it. Uh, and really it happens that a guy is so fixed on the lady that said no, uh, that he doesn't even pay attention to the ladies that are open to date him, are open to meet him again, uh, to get to know each other better. So uh, it looks like he doesn't notice those ladies and he's fixed on one lady who said no. Uh, why it can happen, of course, uh, different people can have different reasons. And it's really connected with the fact that we want uh, be likable, we want all people to like us. But it doesn't happen uh, in life, in real life, uh, so that every person whom you meet uh, will like you. Uh, put yourself uh, on another side of this situation. When you start dating people, when you decide to build a relationship, you communicate with different people. Uh, I'm sure it happens with you too that you don't like every person whom you meet. So you also choose. You can go on a date with one lady, with then in one week with another lady. And it happened that uh, really you will not like both of them. So the first lady you didn't like, for example, because didn't have too much in common to discuss on a date or really you were texting before you met online and then when you have met uh, Katerina uh, I, I want to contradict something like didn't have much uh, to discuss sometimes uh, especially if we're talking about matchmaking service when we press select the match you have things in common but sometimes people struggle to find these common topics for different reasons uh, they felt too stressed nervous like the first date you don't know how to behave. You have attended this date in the wrong mood. She has attended this day in the wrong mood. Uh, you didn't know where to start. Because if you're talking especially about international dating, there is no way you can't find a scene that will be of interest to both of you. You didn't try hard enough. So when people say that, oh, we didn't have uh, much in common, be honest with yourself. Was it really so? Did you put enough effort? Or maybe you ran to this date right after you had uh, a meeting at work or, for example, you were working at, uh, at some annual report and you have logged in to have a Zoom date 10 minutes after you have switched uh, off another Zoom meeting. So you brought the wrong energy to the date. So be very honest with yourself. I wanted to add it.
Yes, thank you for adding it. That's true that uh, pretty often when you don't find uh, uh, common topics to discuss, it means that you just don't want to find them. Because anyway, when you meet a new person, uh, there is a big chance that you have different backgrounds. If you're talking about international relationship, then you represent different cultures. So, of course, you can always find something to discuss with any person whom you meet in your life, of course, if you have a desire to find it. Uh, so, yes, uh, it can be that after the date, you didn't like her for whatever reason. You didn't like her looks, you didn't like how she uh, smiles, and many, many uh, reasons can be involved into it. Uh, of course, when you're honest with yourself, you will understand your real reasons. But anyway, let's assume that you didn't like her for some uh, real reasons. Uh, uh, and you will move further, you will move, you will meet another person. And it can be that the second person also, uh, you didn't feel anything and uh, you don't want to communicate further. But uh, when you say no to a person, you're not fixed so much on this uh, situation. You just uh, leave it and you move further. But when you hear no in return, it becomes like a huge uh, uh, catastrophe for you. It's a huge disaster. You start to analyze why it happens, why. And especially very often uh, men have uh, this thought, uh, thought that every time when I like a lady, she says, she says no. And uh, if she says yes, uh, for whatever reason, I don't like her. So really, like Alessa said, it's a reason to visit a psychologist or to hire some specialist, maybe dating coach, who, who will help you to understand what is happening exactly in this case. Why, if you like a lady, like you think you like her exactly, she says no. And when a lady is interested in you, why? Uh, it is not mutual from your side. If it repeats this situation from day to day, uh, from person to person, then you have to analyze and to understand what is hidden uh, beside this problem. Why it happened with you? Maybe you really have some problems with your ego. Maybe really you need to feel that you are likable by every person that you meet in your life. But it's impossible. If you understand that uh, there is some healthy attitude to people who, who surround us, then it is unhealthy to expect that every person whom we meet will like us in return. It's, it's impossible. And uh, in the end, uh, when you decide to build a relationship, you will build uh, the relationship with one person. You will not uh, date all people whom you meet. So you just need to find one person with whom this interest will be mutual. And if it doesn't happen for a long time, for some reasons, then it can be um, like a red flag for you uh, that you have to analyze this problem and probably to hire a specialist who will help you to understand why it, it, it happens and uh, why it uh, this situation repeats in your life. So it's very important to understand and really to be honest with yourself uh, why it is a so huge disaster when someone uh, doesn't like you. Alisa, um, Katerina has mentioned a really interesting point uh, that uh, all the ladies I choose do not like me back. And when the lady likes me, I don't like her. Do you want to discuss this, to take this a little bit further? <laughs> we all return to the first idea that some it's not about ladies. It's only about you. It's only about your choice. Um, several days ago, I had a consultation with one lady and she told me that she always choose a man that uh, doesn't show enough interest to her and after our uh, some uh, discussion of this topic she recognized that it's not only about men in her life it's about everyone about her clients about her friends about people that she met during her whole life so it's not only about your choice uh, about your future partner it's usually about every choice you make in your life why you choose someone that is not interesting in you 
mm-hmm. why it is so important for you to tell them, to prove them that you are good enough. So there is a lot of questions that you should ask to yourself only about this topic. It's not about the lady. It's not about why they don't choose you. It is why it is so important for you to prove them that you are good enough, that you are smart enough, polite enough. uh, I don't know what else enough. Mm -hmm. So this is the main question. Hmm. I think that uh, sometimes people uh, sabotage, uh, subconsciously uh, sabotage their dating process because they don't want to settle. And uh, once they meet a lady that actually shows genuine interest for all the right reasons, well, uh, we feel it that she is interested and uh, she wants to build communication with me. She wants to build a relationship Um, because... Well, uh, she keeps the eye contact during the date. She texts. She is the one who can text you first. We can initiate a meeting. She uh, thinks of uh, creative, uh, unusual ways to spend your time when you, for example, are meeting for the date. So she shows interest. And if you consider, uh, if you continue uh, dating this lady, if you continue continue courting this lady, if uh, you will show her that the interest is mutual it can lead it to a relationship but do i really want a relationship and with the lady who shows uh, who gives you mixed signals like today she wants to meet that she doesn't want to meet um, today she tells you that uh, well you're cute uh, tomorrow she said that you know i'm busy so call me in september or for example a lady who tells you that oh i won't be able to meet this week like my friend has asked me to uh, watch her cat So you know what, I will be busy. So she gives you some excuses that are obviously excuses that shows you that she is not interested. You feel that, okay, that's the safe harbor. I can actually proceed investing my time and energy into this communication because it will lead to nowhere. And then at the end, I will tell that, see, it's not about me. It's about her. She has ruined it. I've tried. I've called her. I've asked her out. I've got her flowers. But she uh, didn't want me. And that's her fault. It's not me. So this is why I'm saying, well, this is why I'm so sad. And this is why nobody loves me. Some people just like to have this image that, you know, like he's a victim. And uh, all these women or all these men, uh, they are not serious. They don't want this person. So again, it's about you. It's not about these people. So the art of smart dating, true art, is to actually choose people who can choose you back with whom you can build a solid relationship to avoid all drama queens to avoid people who are not sure to choose people who are genuinely interested in you not in someone else in you um yes so having agree. high standards uh, i i totally agree with you and uh, really a lot of people they have problems with being honest with themselves unfortunately and really uh, if we uh, dig it uh, uh, da- uh, d- deep down we will, yes we will understand that really that guy he's afraid to be chosen so he knows how to deal uh, with some drama in his life he knows he's prepared Uh, what to do with drama, what to do with negative emotions. He knows already how to nag, how to blame everyone around uh, when he's not successful in something. Uh, And he doesn't know what to do with that happiness uh, that really happens with him. That's why deep inside he's afraid to be chosen. So when he sees that a lady shows interest in him, that really communication goes really well, uh, they uh, are getting to know each other better. They have the second date, the third date, and it goes further. And he understands that uh, the interest is growing. And then he decides that what uh, if uh, she really chooses me? What then we have to move further with the relationship? Am I really ready uh, to that? And really, in this case, it is more safe to date ladies and to meet with ladies who uh, who don't choose you back, of course. You. you are in your comfort zone so she says no 
you say that oh unfortunately the la again the lady whom i like she said no she's not interested in me so i'm just not lucky uh in dating i'm not lucky in relationships so uh I, I will not build anything now and really it's a reason to be honest with yourself and to hire a professionalist of course, if you think that you want to build a relationship, if you're honest with yourself and you understand that, really, I'm not ready to have something serious now, then just um, keep casual dating if it is something that you really want now. Uh, but if you claim that you want a, a serious relationship and it's really your desire, mm -hmm. it's not a desire uh, that is uh, set by... Uh, People who surround you by your family, friends who are pushing on you that it's already time to build a relationship. And that's why you, you uh, have many dates uh, every month to meet someone. Because it's not your desire. You really don't need it. You don't want it. Why it, uh, it doesn't work? Um, if you really want to, to, to meet uh, a lady, if you really want to build a serious relationship and you always uh, or pretty often face with the problem that uh, if you like someone she doesn't like you back, then it is a reason to talk to a specialist, to hire a specialist, to visit a psychologist, dating coach and uh, to discuss this topic, why it happens with you. Alicia, do you want to add something? I agree, maybe it's uh, Katerina, that um, in case uh, you should hire someone uh, to find some help if you could uh, could not solve this problem by your own. And uh, I have uh, like an example, uh, just imagine you have two doors, one door is open and another door is closed. And you can use this open door, but you choose uh, this close one and you put a lot of efforts to open it one day two days three days and you are exhausted in the end but the door is still closed because you can't open it and it's not about the door it's only about your choice why do you choose this closed door i really like this metaphor so i think it uh, shows uh... In a really picturesque way, <clears throat> and this situation it describes in really uh, it, it, it des describes brightly the situation because sometimes, as matchmakers, uh, when we introduce clients to several ladies, you have to understand that if it was possible to introduce you to just one lady and to tell that she is the one, you will build a relationship. You would be doing that, and on paper she can be a good match. But we do multiple introductions because it takes two of you to actually uh, build this communication, then develop this communication to the next level, bring it to the next level of a relationship, then bring this relationship again to the next level. And there can be so many different circumstances and um, so many different powers that will influence uh, uh, the result uh, of this introduction. You, her, your background, her background, how you will react to this backgrounds what you will bring to this date in which mood you will start this date and uh, sometimes on paper she can be a good match but uh, during the date for whatever reason you were not uh, on your best behavior you were not uh, your vt self uh, you were just tired for example she was tired she has a long week so timing was not perfect and again we are all human beings so when you start dating someone new when you enter the dating market, you have to keep in mind that probably you will hear no more times that you will hear yes. And it's okay. After all, you just have to find the right door, the one that will be open for you and that will lead you in the right direction. You don't need all those doors to get there. So if you uh, choose to dwell and to be so sad and to play this sad hero, tragic hero, that nobody wants to date you, well, you will lose lots of time, lots of nerves. It will get you gray hairs uh, once you get older. So don't go there. So if for whatever reason it didn't work out, your attitude should be that I'm one person closer, one door closer uh, to my goal, to my person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, uh, I, I also agree with you that uh, it, it's not, 
it's impossible, uh, unfortunately, of course, if we were magicians, then we will do for every our client uh, the fairy tale when he is meeting only one lady and she is fun perfect match but unfortunately even in hollywood movies it doesn't happen so so even in hollywood movies you have to date several people until you meet your one well in hollywood and... movies and in fairy tales it can happen though so there is a prince for almost every princess and they are perfect for each other uh, they are even uh, drawn uh, their costumes in the same colors to match so everything was uh, set from the very beginning in real life it doesn't hey, work this way. Disney, Disney, yes, Disney shows such <laughs> such stories, and of course, fairy tales. Even if you, uh, I'm sure that if you about it yourself, you'll understand that if this uh, situation happens, it's a fairy tale. So in real life, it doesn't work like that, and we really uh, have to meet several people until we find our special one, and uh, uh, that's why we also uh, introduce our clients to several uh, ladies, uh, and uh, with one of them, they have an opportunity to build a relationship. But of course, usually more than with one, with more because more ladies show interest, and again, it's up to a gentleman and to a lady to see where this mutual interest is stronger. And uh, really, when people tell that, oh, I want a soulmate, there can be more people with whom you can potentially build a good relationship, lasting relationship, especially if you hire an image maker. So there are more people that will show interest in you. And yes, there will be this, on the one hand, problem of choice. I was thinking about this client. You will know who I'm talking about. He had five introductions with five ladies. All five ladies wanted to date him. And he didn't know with whom to proceed. So we went on, he went on second date, third date. And uh, I think it took him more than five dates to actually make the real cut. And it was quite painful, but it, it is a rare situation. Usually it's more, it, it, it comes more naturally. So two, three dates, ladies can lose interest, he can lose interest. And then we will have our so-called winners. So we will have the lady with whom the mutual interest will be stronger. Yes, after the dates, or especially after the first date, uh, it happens that uh, our client, uh, for him, is uh, really very early to choose, and he continues communication with several people. And It's uh, a mutual choice. It's not just you choosing and saying that I want to date Anna or I want to date Marina. Of course, of course, it's mutual choice. And of course, lady, she also shows uh, that men, they always uh, have to remember that not only they are choosing ladies, they choose them too. So of course, it's mutual. Uh, but stop uh, uh, being so fixed on people who says no. Uh, why? Why you're fixed on them? What can you change? Especially, um, it sounds strange when clients ask us to change something. What can we change? If we uh, ask her, please go on the next date with him, will you be happy from that? If she goes on a date just because we asked her to go on the date, will it bring you happiness? Will you like the date if you know that a lady came because uh, somebody asked? We can't make her go out on a date. Of course, uh, like our psychologist and uh, us, the matchmakers, they can be very persuasive so we can uh, tell the lady that uh, you know what like chemistry doesn't always build it's not always built on the first two days and you should trust our judgment and you should go out with him on for example third date but if the lady uh, for example the first date said that you know what i'm not physically attracted to him because on photos he looked bigger and in real life he's skinny she will go out on a second date with him and tells it, you know what, Svetlana, he's still as skinny as on the first date. And I'm still not attracted. You know what? I don't like skinny guys. So on photos, he looked bigger. So I thought he would be bigger because usually I'm attracted to bigger guys. And uh, well, I've tried. I did it like you have uh, recommended me, but I still don't find him attractive. Yes, so uh, when, uh, th that's why it's the reason not to be fixed uh, on one lady, uh, exactly on that lady that she said no. Uh, you have other people to communicate, you have other people to get to know them. 
so why are you fixed so on one person? Uh, really, we come back again to uh, the problem uh, that if it happens... I have we... a good question to Alessia, uh, inspired by uh, what you just said. Alessia, why are people so fixed on that closed door? Why they are so obsessed with it? Yeah, not Katrina all people, told, some... Uh, uh... Uh, Katerina told uh, uh, a very uh, uh, a good thing about communication, that uh, you can uh, get to know some person more, and um, uh, this is uh, the problem. Uh, during communication with uh, this open door, yes, th this person who is open to you, you find something that you don't like. You recognize that this person is not perfect. And you, you think you are perfect, for example, and she is of not course. that perfect. So why should I continue this communication to, to this lady if she is not that perfect? But you, uh, this closed door, you don't know about this closed door at all. And here is the situation when you start to um, make some dreams to um, assumptions you have a lot of yes you have a lot of fantasies about this closed door and you think that oh she might be that perfect that smart and etc etc and i think she doesn't choose me back because she is that perfect but in case you start to continue you start to your communication, you start to get to know this person more and you suddenly see that she is also not that perfect. She's just a human, you know? Human are not perfect. We all have some some not very good something oh. or bad sides of our uh, personalities, etc. So uh, this, your imagination works not for you in this case so uh, to to be more uh, how to say this uh um uh, more uh, uh i don't know how to explain <laughs> if if you want to to be um uh like smart to make smart choice you should understand that we all have some very good side of our personalities and very bad side of our personalities, and you will find it in every person. And if Seems you think that, that you won't this like, close, we are not even talking about faults. Seems that yes. you don't, you won't find good enough, attractive. And if this closed door is still closed, let it be closed. Just choose the open one. This is my idea. Oh, um, I think that's um, a good point uh, at which we should uh, finish this video. I suggest everyone to think about these doors, uh, about this beautiful comparison that uh, our really smart and creative psychologist has suggested. Are, are you the person who constantly chooses closed doors in different aspects of your life, in dating, or in your working life, uh, in friendships. Uh, are you the kind of person who gets upset that, for example, they don't have a free table at the restaurant for you at the moment? And uh, the rest of the evening is killed and spoiled for you because, uh, well, your wimp, it was not, uh, it was not uh, met. Uh, so you feel disappointed and nobody has fulfilled what you wanted. So are you the type of a person who will look for the open door? Okay, they didn't have the table at this restaurant. Uh, I will go to the other one. And uh, I'm sure I will have a fantastic dinner there and you won't even think about it. Are you the type of a person who will dwell about saying you didn't have and you have this what if conversations? I would say that if you are the type of a person who keeps asking yourself what if what if I have booked the table? What if Irina said yes to me? What if uh, I had actually met Natalia in person? Probably she would have changed her mind. You never know. So you had a chance to meet that lady. She had a chance to meet you or, for example, talk on Zoom. Both of you had a chance to build this communication. For whatever reason, 
she has decided to close that door. Now it's up to you to either keep standing by the door and uh, if you have hired image maker, call us and tell that you know what, you have to open it like yourself. Use uh, whatever you have, but open the door or you can go to another one. Yes, and uh, this construction, what if, uh, very often it destroys uh, many things in your life. So don't uh, analyze your life and life situations with that position, what if, uh, because it didn't happen. Uh, she really had a chance to be with you, to communicate with you, but uh, it was not her choice. Leave it up to her. Respect your decision, uh, respect yourself. And move further. So don't think what if uh, happened. Uh, Respect so... your time. Don't invest your time into closed doors. There will be plenty of open ones. And of course, if you want uh, to hear more about dating, relationship, especially about international dating, we strongly recommend you to subscribe to this channel, to press like. You can also support this channel by becoming a sponsor. There is a special link below this video how to do that, and you will get access to extra videos and uh, new material that uh, we uh, create, especially for the only friends, the only lovers, and uh, the only family. Uh, also, you can always request uh, a consultation with our matchmaker. Um, you can hire us uh, to help you get more doors to open and uh, to test and to get the feedback by, for example, this door uh, was closed uh, right in front of you, or for example, how to do to keep the doors open, to keep more options. And uh, if you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below this video, or you can email them to us. Use uh, the email katerina at or svetlana at uh, Also, you can fill in uh, the form below this video, and request the first free consultation about our matchmaking process. We want to wish everybody love. Goodbye. We will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.